With Interactive Brokers being the biggest brokerage firm worldwide that allows traders and investors to buy and sell stocks, options, futures, Forex, and even now crypto, it's super important to allow third-party programs to connect to Interactive Brokers and their API. I personally use Interactive Brokers for my automated trading systems that I trade with my own money, and I also use them for my safer investments long-term. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect Interactive Brokers to NinjaTrader, which is the ever-growing software for running automated trading systems and back-testing them as well. I personally use NinjaTrader as well as Interactive Brokers and connect them both to run my automated trading systems. And I can say that it's a pretty good setup and I wanna show you guys how to connect Interactive Brokers with NinjaTrader. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more connection guides with other brokerages and softwares and stay to the end of the video i'm going to be showing you a tip on ensuring a smooth connection with ninja trader and interactive brokers for the long term if you're running automated trading systems you're in this for the long game and you need to know all what it takes to make sure your connections are good and your systems are running so stay tuned to the end of the video for that tip okay so let's get started with this connection guide uh, obviously the first step is to download ninja trader and their link is here i'll post it in the description below and you're, you're going to have to download interactive brokers uh, gateway as well which will be step two the main benefit of ninja trader is it handles a lot of the tedious tasks like connections and charting and stuff like that um, and allows you to rapidly back test run strategies and not have to worry about all the boring behind the scenes work so that's the main benefit of ninja trader and that's why i use it personally because my goal is to make a return in the market from my automated trading systems so i don't want to be spending a lot of time working with APIs and handling connections and stuff like that. I want to spend more time building strategies, testing them and running them live and making efficient use of my time. So that's why I use um, a platform like Ninja Trader. There's other platforms like Ninja as well, which I'll make separate videos on like TradeStation, MultiCharts, that sort of stuff. And uh, they save you a lot of time and, and they help you um, use your time very efficiently with um, handling a lot of the boring stuff for you. So step number one, download Ninja Trader. It is free to use up until you want to trade with live money. Um, so if you just want to back test or you just want to chart or uh, run uh, systems with a paper account, it's free to use. But when you want to trade with live money with your interactive brokers account, it will cost money. Uh, they have a quarterly um, license and a lifetime license. If you use other brokerages or funding programs like Top Step Trader or Apex um, Trading, they do offer massive discounts on Ninja Trader, so that's an option as well. I think I'll make a separate video on those funded programs, what those look like, but uh, that's another opportunity to get Ninja Trader at a cheaper price. There's some limitations with those. That'll be in my separate video, but um, just letting you guys know that it is free up until a point, and that point is when you want to trade with live money. So first step, download it, install it, run it, and then we'll move on to the second step. All right, so the second step is to download and install IB Gateway which is an interface to connect to your Interactive Brokers account through an API. It's a low resource kind of interface. It's basically, it doesn't use a lot of computer resources and is pretty light. And that's why I recommend using it with NinjaTrader because NinjaTrader is sort of heavy. It uses a lot of your, your RAM and your CPU. So you want to use IB Gateway um, because it's, it's just lighter weight. They also have a front-end user interface called the Trader Workstation, uh, which you can use as well with NinjaTrader but I don't recommend it because it's heavier um, and you don't need the interface. You're already using Ninja Trader, so you may as well just use IB Gateway. Make sure that two-factor is enabled if you're making a new IB account. I think now they force you to um, enable two-factor to actually move on, but I know before they didn't. Um, but yeah, just for your safety and security, make sure you have two-factor uh, with your IB account. I think now they force it, which is a good practice, uh, but just you know, wanted to reiterate that. You're also going to need market data to backtest and to run strategies live. You need some type of streaming data. Now you can get that data through Interactive Brokers or you can use another data source through NinjaTrader and make trades on your IB account. But I'll show you how to enable market data on your IB account. So basically log in through their website with your IB account once you have one and click settings here under your profile. And then after that, scroll down on the right here and click market data subscriptions. And if you're trading futures like I am, I believe you just need these two, the US equity and options add-on streaming bundle and the US security snapshot and futures value bundle, okay? For a total of about $14, $14 a month. Um, so to add those, you click this configure icon here, this little cog icon. And then under North America quote bundles, you're gonna expand that. 
and these are the two that you need. So you just check that, check that, and then scroll to the bottom and hit continue. Oh, you probably can't see it. I'm in the way. Continue button here. Okay. So that's how you enable market data, and you're going to need that. Uh, once again, you can get market data from other sources. Personally, I use um, Kinetic, which is NinjaTrader's uh, own market data. I use that for back testing, but when I run it live, I use it through IB data. Um, so just, you know, there's multiple options and you can mix and match, which is kind of cool. So that's the second step, downloading and installing IB Gateway. Um, it's going to look like this when you're running it. Let me just uh, pull it up here. So when you download, install, and log in, it's going to look like this. Uh, you can log in with your paper account or live account. It doesn't matter. Um, but this is what the, the, the system looks like. All right, so once you've installed IB Gateway and logged in with your account, you're going to have to set up some settings. So with it open right here, you're going to hit Configure at the top uh, left here, and then Settings. Double-click API, and then double-click Settings. And there's two main things. Make sure read-only API is unchecked, right? So this needs to be unchecked. And take note of your socket port. Okay, so this socket port uh, is the port that NinjaTrader is going to connect through to basically be able to chart, make trades, basically use their API in the background. So I think by default, it's 4001 or 4002, but just take note of it. You can change it if you want to, but I, I just do the default. So mine's 4001. Just make sure you know what it is and what it's set to. And then you're just going to hit um, you're going to hit apply and OK to save your settings. And the next step is to obviously in, uh, install and run NinjaTrader. And uh, it should look some form of this, like this. Then once it's open and running, you're going to hit connections at the top left here. And then hit configure, which is at the bottom right of that drop down. And then in your available connections, Find Interactive Brokers and double click it so it adds it to configured. And then highlight the configured connection. By default, it'll probably say My Interactive Brokers. And on the right here, you'll get a bunch of properties. Here's my settings if you just want to pause the video and copy them down. Um, I left the default connection name and I enabled Connect on Startup. And what that does is when I open NinjaTrader, it'll automatically open IB Gateway and log me in, which just saves me some time. And it's, it's actually kind of useful. Now I put my username and password in here from my IB account. Now don't worry, all this information is stored locally with your computer. Uh, NinjaTrader has no benefit of, you know, getting your Interactive Brokers information. So um, I put my 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 IB username and password in here. And what that does is when it starts IB Gateway, it'll pre-fill my login details. And all I have to do is just enter my two-factor and then I'm good to go. So it saves me a lot of time. Now my connect using is obviously Gateway because I'm using IB Gateway. As I mentioned before, you can use Trader Workstation, which is IB's front end user interface, but it's just heavier. And I just, I recommend using Gateway if you're gonna use Ninja Trader. I checked the auto login and then the auto login path. So this will be a file. And usually the default file is uh, your C drive, JTS, IB Gateway, and then the version. I'm using 981, but you might be using a newer version. And then just select the IB Gateway EXE. And this tells Ninja Trader the path and the executable to run for that. Now, client ID and host, just leave those default. Usually it's zero or one. And then the host is obviously your local host. And then your port gateway. So remember, my, my socket port on IB Gateway was 4001. So make sure these numbers match. This is the most common issue you're going to have with, with um, connections failing. Your, your ports have to be the same. So I put 4001 there. And then I checked runtime pop-up handler and SSL. And then hit apply and OK, and that'll save your settings. Now in connections here, you'll see, I'll just just connect here. You'll see, now you'll see my interactive brokers in your connections list. So now to connect, it's, it's not connected, you've just added it as an option. To connect, you hit connections and then select my interactive brokers. It'll go yellow for about three to five seconds. It takes a little bit to get connected, but you can see at the bottom left, it's yellow here, and then it just turned green. So that signals that it's connected and um, your accounts and, and everything's connected. And if you make trades, you can select your account and stuff like that. Another way to know that it's connected is when you pop up the IB gateway interface, you'll see API client is green and it'll say one connected. 
Now, just a reminder, IB Gateway needs to be running in the background for Ninja Trader to connect. Uh, IB has an API. I believe they do have a REST API where you don't need a running gateway, but it has a lot of limitations. So IB Gateway needs to be running in the background as a separate process for Ninja Trader to connect. Just remember that you can't just close IB Gateway. It'll disconnect everything. So that needs to be running. And now we're connected. And if I go to my accounts tab here in Ninja Trader at the bottom left, we can see all my accounts on Ninja Trader. So any live accounts will have a U in front of it. Um, and then if you're in any positions and stuff like that, that'll be here as well. Okay. So now we have it connected. If I, and also another test is, is you can pull up a chart and see if you're getting market data. So I'll pull up a chart and do S and P 500 features. Uh, let me load just one minute bars. And there we go. Okay. So if it sit, if it fails to load and there's no bars coming up, you have to go back to your Interactive Brokers website and make sure your market data subscriptions are enabled as I showed earlier in the video. So go back to earlier in the video on how I set those up. And then if you're just applying them now, I would uh, restart IB Gateway uh, to have those market data subscriptions taken into an effect and then pull up a chart and you should see data coming through. Okay. So that's the connection guide. If the connection fails, if it stays yellow or you get a pop-up, saying that oh connection failed usually the, the the biggest case is that your socket port is not the same so make sure when you go to api settings that this socket port 4001 matches your configured socket port in ninja trader they have to be the exact same number okay that's usually the biggest cause and obviously make sure your ib gateway is running and it's in the background as you can see here it's like a separate process so make sure that's running those are usually the, the 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 two main issues that need to be fixed if it's not connecting okay now there's one more step to and this is the tip i was talking about to ensuring smooth connections with ib over the long term so this is huge you know pay attention in ib gateway click configure and then settings and then select lock and exit now by default IB Gateway will have auto log off selected here at 11.45 p.m. Change it to auto restart. And what this does is this restarts Gateway and reconnects essentially at 11.45 p.m. Uh, IB doesn't um, always stay connected, if that makes sense. For some reason, they 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 I, it's either for security reasons, I'm not really sure, honestly, but they, ha they force you to either do auto log off or auto restart. Um, auto log off will log you out and close IB Gateway. Auto restart will log you out, but then restarts IB Gateway and logs you back in automatically. So make sure auto restart is selected. Okay, that's going to be big. And that way you don't have to worry about on a day to day reconnecting. Now, here's the main tip. Um, even with auto restart selected, IB Gateway still forces you to manually log in once a week. And once again, I don't know why they do this, probably for security reasons, but it, it sucks, but it, it it's something you just have to deal with. What I recommend is every Sunday before the futures session open for 6 p.m., closing IB Gateway manually and re-logging back in. And that way, then it'll extend for another week and you don't have to worry about it disconnecting mid-market or mid-week. Okay, so every Sunday, usually around noon, um, I close IB Gateway, um, I, I reopen it, re-log in, and then connect it through Ninja Trader and make sure everything's enabled and stuff like that. And that way, it, it doesn't, you know, I don't have to worry about it disconnecting midweek. Um, it would be nice if IB Gateway just ran all the time. I never had to re-log in. But even with restart, auto restart enabled, it's still, it will still um, log you out. Uh, usually it's like Sundays at midnight. But if you re-log in manually Sunday, it doesn't do that. Okay, so every Sunday, you could probably do it Saturday or I think you just have to do it once a week, but I do it Sundays. Um, I manually close IB Gateway, re-log in just to save me some time and... Um, it uh, stops IB from from logging logging me out essentially, and my strategy is being disconnected, and me scrambling the next day to to figure everything out. So, anyways, that's one of the cons. I mean, this is something you have to live with, but it takes like five seconds, so it's not a huge deal. So, I hope you found value in this video and learned how to connect interactive brokers with Ninja Trader. Let me know in the comments below on any other connection guides you want to go through uh, with other brokerages and other trading software. Um, I'd love to guide and, and help you get those connected and get those going. So anyways, have a good week, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.